Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. <laughs> Camelot, are you there? What's up, you bitches? What's up? Yeah, you don't need camera tonight. We're going to fix that next time, but you, you could be completely naked right now, pouring egg whites on your chest, and you'll be good. Okay, cool. Pregnant, um, and she was had a fight with her husband, so she came over to my house. And Sorry, we, she, you say she's pregnant? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> she comes over <laughs> to my house, right? And she's like on top of me just going ham, and I squeeze her boobies, and they were big as hell. And they squirted me like a damn super soaker. Like oh yeah, shit. dude! And I was like, "Oh Who my was... god!" I did not expect it, you know, because that was not, it was my first time dealing with this shit. But no, dude, they they squirted me like a damn like I was milking her like a cow. Oh yeah, well, as a person who's you know, well, I have three kids, and yeah, oh yeah, man, they are like fire hoses. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you milk your own tits. I probably can. All right, I mean, that's that's fixed. Here we go. I mean, the fuck is that? Merry Christmas! Someone donated. Rich fuck. What is you going like, on? This you is guys a like that? Donation for $33. That's annoying too. Let me get a short one. Yeah, that's really fucking loud too. It's obnoxious. Oh, you sure I'm sure games uh, you could probably tell GameStop stories about this Camelot with uh I'm sure people came in and traded like $2000 of shit for 10 bucks, right? Oh yeah, of course. And you know what Especially they were if doing they stole the that. shit. <laughs> they Dude, either I, stole I, it. I work, you know that I work there too, right? Obviously, yeah. uh, some well, Camelot will know this, uh, depending on when he worked there. But did you have the PlayStation One, PlayStation Two binders reused? Uh, like just the disc, yeah, yeah. So somebody stole our binder, walked over to the other mall, traded it in. <laughs> yeah. I, had a, I had a guy come behind, we used to keep live games just like probably like. I don't know, two copies deep, uh, four rows by four behind the counter for like new releases just so they'd be kind of advertised. And they were like actual copies. Yeah. We kept everything else locked up, of course. One time, this dude was like, I want an Xbox, you know, 360 or whatever, Xbox One. So I go to the back and I get a weird feeling. So I kind of look backwards and the dude's behind the counter and I like turn around and I yell at him and he, he dips out. He stole every single game that we had sitting up there. Brand new releases, by the way. And went to the other store like eight minutes later that's across the street or whatever, like across the little road, and tries to trade him in for cash. And I called the other store immediately, obviously. And they just confiscated them from him. <laughs> they they took all the games and were like, ah, we know you stole these. And then he just ran out the door. And I got all the games back. And I was like, this dude's dumb as hell. I was like, why are criminals so damn dumb? Like, <laughs> Jesus, man. Dude. Yeah, the guy, the guy walked across the street. He... So what happened was they they obviously knew it was a binder from fucking EB Games at the yeah. time, and they said, "Oh, dude, we have to scan each disc." So obviously that just bought them time for the police to show up. They walked in, police showed back up. I had to fill out a report. Blah blah blah. Yeah, people are just desperate. Like I worked at Blockbuster, and this guy was casing the joint, waiting for me to or waiting for an employee to leave the store. So as soon as I left the store around ten at night. He used to close at midnight. As soon as I left, he went in there with a gun. Hold and... on. Very important, though. Besides the gun, did you intimidate him with a DVD on your erection? Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, anyway, that, was a, that, was a, that, that was at a record store. But anyways. Um, I, need, I, I need more pot. Let's, uh, let's yeah, and that going. was in front of customers. So anyways, I, as soon as I left the store, this guy got, went in there with a gun and held up the store for like 50 bucks. And uh, he went behind the blockbuster and threw the... What the fuck did you do? Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> My dad gave read? me his V6 Camaro and I use it as a daily. 323 horsepower, it's pretty quick for what it is and it runs on 87 octane. Yeah, but Nothing I don't think... Nothing wrong with the V6 as a daily. Depends on the... Isn't the V6 in, in the uh, Mustang shittier, though? I'm pretty oh, sure definitely. that's not... It's definitely. I don't know about... I don't know about that's the last a lot of though. That's a lot of horsepower. Nothing, me. nothing wrong with the V six as a daily. That sounds like something a bitch would say. Because I, 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 I daily a V eight every day, and I always will. <laughs> I have a twin turbo V six, so you, I guess you could call me a bitch. There you go. No, uh, well, I, you, got, you got the twin turbo. At least yeah, that. it probably and has I, more um, power than my V eight. I have a cat that has diarrhea, so please support my family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start daily in my. I'm finishing my little goofy project car, and it's going to have about 750 horsepower naturally aspirated. It's going to be a monster. I was, do you know what I actually did when I was like, I was pretty much at my fattest. I must have been delusional because it would have looked like trying to fit a, a cow in a sardine can. 
but I was going to get one of those Elio cars. You guys ever hear about those? They were it failed. It never came out. You could put a, like a hundred dollars. This is hundred dollar down payment. It was just a super super small three wheel car, and. It, dude, the thing, I was the size of the thing. How the fuck did I expect to fit in that at 420 plus pounds? This is what I'm saying. What... If if I live near you, we would do live streams where we did stupid shit like that. You go rent one of those and we just live stream from that. Uh, we'd be huge. I'd make sure the channel was huge. Listen. Literally. And then it would get bypass surgery and be small again. But anyway. Well, yeah, you have the Excel spreadsheet documents to prove that I got bypassed. Why am I jerking off my marijuana for 20 minutes? I don't know. Actually, dude. I got to. Somebody faxed over proof earlier of the uh, bypass surgery. So, I took an edible the other night and watched uh, uh, like two Chris Farley movies in a row, and I was tripping balls, man. It was rough. Yeah, yeah especially if you're not used to it in the beginning. Yeah, I was. Um, oh man, I was like halfway through the movie, and I was like, man, some of these scenes are really awkward and weird, and I'm just like silent watching it, and then I just start laughing because it gets so, it seems so stupid. And when you're yeah, when you're not used to weed. It, oh, it hits you like a fucking freight train. Even if you like, yep. unless, unless you take a super small amount, even if you take a still a small amount, if you're not used to it, it's like you're totally sober. And then it's like, yeah. oh, oh, my God, dude, I was in you wanna... I was in Denver, man. I was in Denver and I was uh, I went to I think. I, well, I went I drove to I think Nederland, which is like right outside. Of, and uh, I got some super so strong, like concentrated shit, just like edibles. I bought it at a, a dispensary. And I'm at, I'm at the base of this goopy ass mountain. I'm glad that's not loud to me. It's so quiet for me. <laughs> that is loud as fuck for me. I live that in California, so I guess I'll be a bitch instead of getting ass rammed by gas prices. Well, I live in Alabama, and gas is cheap as hell here. And uh, I I would rather live in Alabama than getting ass rammed in California. Butthole, thank you for the uh, donations, <laughs> man. Thank you. Butthole, come on now. You gotta get get you a V8 and d tell the the California boys to fuck off. Anyways, so. Uh, I'm in Denver. I'm in Nederland. I take I take this edible, and it's the guys like, dude, it hits you so fast, but it lasts only half as long. And I'm I'm on this hiking trail that's like deserty, and I start tripping balls, of course. And I'm going up this hiking trail for hours, and every time somebody walked by me, I was so terrified to talk to him. I go hide in the like the forest and eat snacks and shit. <laughs> so I was so afraid to talk. I was so afraid people would know who I, I don't. It was weird, man. So eventually, I'm like gone, right? I'm like the the term blackout drunk, but if you're just high, and I'm I notice that it's snowy, it's just snow everywhere. And keep in mind, it was like 75 degrees and like sunny and like deserty when I started, and it's just snowy now. And I'm in the top of this mountain, and there's no one around. I'm and I'm I'm not on a trail anymore. I'm just going through the snow, like trudging through the snow. <laughs> what the. F and I was like, what the, where am I? I kind of started coming to, and I was like, I should probably turn it around. So I just followed my footprints all the way back. <laughs> like, Dude, that, that could have been fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah it was crazy. Been like, you could have been, like, not alive. <laughs> yeah, there's a picture of me, um, and I'm standing beside a waterfall, and I'm walking away from it. My friend took it. Um and I'm blitzed. I'm just gone. And I'm walking away from this waterfall. And you can't see it in the picture, but I'm blitzed. It's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> So crazy. my, well, I almost said who it was. Let's just say somebody I know uh, gave me edibles once. This is maybe six years ago. And I'm like, it's not doing anything. So he's like, oh, have a little bit small piece of this cookie. Just small. He's like, don't I remember eat more. you telling me this. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, fine. So I eat more. Two hours go by and I'm like, I don't feel anything, man. He's like, are you sure you're not like feeling anything at all? And I'm like, no, I, I literally feel nothing. He's like, okay, have like literally this little piece, this little, little, like, so I eat it. I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, <laughs> the only way I could describe it where people understand what I'm talking about now, it's like being in the MCU, like Marvel Universe. All of a sudden, <laughs> everything except me, including the room, the sky, the chairs, everything moves, and it, it go. it's like editing. It just switches to a new scene. And I'm like, um... And he's like, what? I'm like, are we... Are we still here? And he's like, what are you talking about? Oh, no. And I'm like, are we still like, <laughs> are we still in the same time? Like, what time is it? He's like, it's eight. I'm like, well, I keep, I go every time. Oh, my God. I'm going to fucking kill you. You did this. <laughs> you did this, Jay. Well, don't worry. I got a cammed 2018 Camaro SS for the track. Oh, shit.
Oh, I'm, all you motherfuckers got these nice, yeah, fast ass cars, and I gotta. I mean, I have kids. That's why I have to have the car I have. But it's well, still you a gotta fun be car. safe. Yeah, I got a I bunch got of. I got a bunch of NASCAR Cup cars that I use for racing. Jesus, they're fat so, some bitches. <laughs> so I'm I'm sitting in the living room, and it's it's somebody I know well, part of my family, and all of a sudden I go, I Support have to hold your hand, and he's like, what? And I'm like, if I don't hold your hand, I'm gonna disappear into one of these alternate timelines. And he's like, okay, fine. And I'm ha I'm like having like panic attacks. Well, Rich knows this, like panic attacks of being. Yeah, I know panic attacks. Of being, well. Yeah, of being sent into another time zone. So then, uh, if you guys know my show from a long time ago, I used to have Cat on the show. She literally had just left the apartment half an hour before. I actually called her to come all the way from downtown Toronto, all the way back to the apartment, which took her about an hour on the subway because I was tripping so bad. And she, by the time she got back, I think I counted maybe 200 different time zones I had been in and I and they were all different and I could describe every one of them like from just weed man <laughs> oh yeah I don't I was, know dude. like was that must from have a dispensary been too. No, yeah was, dude cause... somebody you know what happened you know when people make trays of, of that stuff with the the butter yeah yeah yeah, yeah if yeah. you don't do it properly that butter will go into like one cookie and the rest are fine Oh, I've told my audience that a billion times because they always ask me, like, well, Rich, like, my friend made edibles. I'm like, no. No, I'm you got to like, be. Because one cookie yeah. could have a fucking milligram and the cookie next to it, because they didn't mix it properly, could have, like, 600 milligrams. Yeah. Yep. Either... That's what... So basically, listen to this. The guy who doesn't do it at all, I still don't do it. I am going to I'm gonna fist you after this. Ho, stream. ho, ho. Merry Christmas. I drive a 2011 Toyota Camry with 419K miles. The Holy car going shit. to be passed down through generations. Yeah, Listen, the car. The uh, that's it. It's a Toyota Camry, man. The car. The the the, the body will rot before the uh, drivetrain falls yep. apart. <laughs> so he goes to me later, and so anyways, Cat shows back up at the place. I have to hold her hand and his hand for a good three hours before I feel fine. Then all of a sudden, I feel like at heaven, like I've never felt that good in my life. But my God, I almost, I almost. I got stuck in another dimension because of this. Man, uh, my first ever experience, and I mean very first ever experience, was... How, how old were you? I was th I was 30. Um, wow, late bloomer. Yeah, and uh, so, yeah, I didn't start drinking or doing anything until I was 27, but... Blo bloom um, next to me. I took... So, I was hanging out with this girl off Tinder, right? And she's smoking hot chick. And uh, I go over to her house because she lived like right down the road from me. And she was like, hey, my friend gave me this, you know, brownie. And she's like, but only, it, you know, and then she's like, you want to try it? You know, it's THC. And I was like, oh, yeah, because I, I, at this time, I didn't give a damn anymore. I was like, feed me anything. Um, mm. <laughs> this so, brownie's filled with cyanide. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm, you know, so I'm a dumbass. I fall for the rookie mistake um, of thinking it's supposed to kick in faster. So she eats like a crumb, and I just like bite it every ten minutes. I'm like, why is it not kicking in? So I, I end up eating like ninety percent of this brownie. And man, Joe, I am, you fucking Joey Diaz yourself. Continue, dude. I was flying through space, and this girl's sitting there, and I remember like having a conscious thought, and it was like the most important thing that I'd, I'd ever like. It was like an epiphany, right? I was like, oh my god, this is so important. I have to tell the world, and I was sitting there. <laughs> And I was like, oh, my God, there's something so important I have to say. And she's like, what? And I'm like, and I, I was like, this is the most important thing. Like, I, it, it will change the world. And she's like, what's going on? And I was like, Eminem's the best rapper of all time. And then I just <laughs> then I just started crying. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then she's like, let me take you to the shower. So she takes me. She, like, walks me to her shower and just, take like, strips me down and puts me in the shower. And then she strips down and gets in the shower. And she's like, don't think about laughing. And I was like, what? And she was like, don't think about laughing. And I just started laughing. And I like fell down in the shower and was crying and laughing. And what the fuck is that? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Listen. Uh, now, what do you ruined... guys think of new the electric Mustang Mach E? I'd fuck with one. If, if, if they're fast <laughs> as hell, I'd fuck with one. We I'm lost from... uh sorry, I'm... Abby's donation for fifty bits. My cousin just spent forty thousand on upgrades on a twenty eighteen Mustang GT coyote. I want to call it a cougar. I don't know why. Uh he <sighs> puts a root supercharger and now has eight hundred uh HP. Hey, that's that's almost as much as my, my 
my you twelve car, my stock car. You make, um, you make me think of Cougar. I would have a hot gill. I would like. I would have Jennifer Tilly. She's oh, yeah, a dude. chilf. But like in her She's prime, a, though, not like now. No, nah, I would have her still sit on. I mean, the floor. I would still smash or piss her. But I'm saying like I would pre <laughs> Jesus prefer. Christ. I prefer oh, she's dude. 25 or something. Jennifer Tilly is a. F have you? Uh, I. Listen. She's a jilf. I'm sorry. She's her a jilf. sister's hot as hell too. So listen to this story. Three years ago, they're filming Chucky, the first season in God in, 64. Yeah, they're sorry. they're they're filming Chucky. I'm biking. I'm a cyclist, so I'm biking, and you know, I'm making my legs strong so I can smash pissers, as you say. And smash pissers. I love it. So. <laughs> I'm driving my bike and I, you know, I'm into the whole horror scene and all that stuff. So I know it's filming and I'm like, my only goal this summer is to see Jennifer Tilly in real life. And one day I'm biking down by the lake shore and there's all these cars. So I in instantly know I'm this is a set. This is a fucking set. This is my chance. She's here for sure. So I bike, I bike, I bike. I see the setup and it looks like a garage sale. It's the first scene from the show if you've watched it. And I'm looking and I'm like, no Jennifer Tilly. I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Um, she so, still has she still has amazing tits. But continue. Well, just just wait. So then I'm like, oh yeah, I'll never see her. So the other part of the story is amazing because I gave up. I'm like, I'll never see her. Lo and behold, we're downtown. It's probably eight at night. We're just going to get food, and just randomly out of the blue, Jennifer Tilly is just with somebody. She's not. There's no security. It's not like that. She's just there going into a restaurant downtown toronto so i got to see her it wasn't like spectacular because she was maybe about 40 feet from me but it i she's unreal she's you like didn't a cheat your shot you didn't go up to her no she's too, <laughs> she's too far away from me i, I would have went what? up to her and you said, said 40 like, feet bro you got two legs right Breast. Well, she's going into the store or the, dude, I'd, have the been, dude, I'd have been right behind her. Dude, look, okay, I don't know about you. Now, I don't know how old you is, but I'm, you know, I'm a young buck compared to Jennifer Tilly. I guarantee you, I'd walk up and be like, what's up, girl? Let me let me get that number. I'd be smashing Jennifer Tilly's pisser for sure. Oh, she, oh yeah, she, dude, she'd hook up with you. How old 100%. You? I'd suck on her titties. Oh, yeah, <laughs> by the way. Um, <laughs> I was but, just, listen, so hold on one second. So it said to me, oh, her voice is, is terrible. Like, dude, I she could suffocate with with her tits and scream in my ear like a banshee, and I would be totally happy with it. I like her it. voice. I'm oh, weird. she's a fucking yeah. goddess. Yeah. It's so sweet and calming. No, but um, to finish my story earlier about the weed thing, uh, yeah, so I laid, I, I, I laid in that lady's bed, the tender girl's bed, and she wasn't as high as I was. And she was like, do you want to have sex? And I was like, that is not possible. And then I just floated through space and then uh, fell asleep finally. So that was the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I, dude, I love busting nuts while stoned. Dude, I, sometimes no, it if was too, if dude, you're too stoned, I, I get it. Couldn't no, even I fathom get it. that shit at that point. Dude, there's oh. been times where I, I've walked, I was like, my legs were like twitching because I was too stoned, and I was walking like I got fucked in the ass. I don't think I could have sex <laughs> during the, in that situation, <laughs> but yeah, so I understand. Was it, it was intro guy anywhere around at the time? Yeah, he fucked me in the ass. We both got stoned <laughs> together. He fucked me in the ass, and then I was walking like a penguin. Listen, I don't even need to do the jokes anymore. <laughs> God, right. I miss his jokes. 100 bits. Uh, Camelot says, What happened to me on the first date? That happened to me with the uh, first date on my girlfriend. Luckily, I'm still with her. I don't know. Well, that's what... it's a bonding experience. I st no, I, now, don't get me wrong. I still I still smashed that chick that I got high with. It was just the next time we hung out. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, a she, am he... I losing my mind or it's like. Maybe I'm losing it. I was a 25 year old virgin. Where do I know that Camelot? You were pretty old when you lost your virginity as well, or something? Or am I losing my mind? I was 16. Oh, then I'm losing my mind. I thought I swear you made a video saying, "Oh, I was 25 year old virgin." No, um, no I'm sorry. I'm just uh, so. actually just I, um, uh, saying my fantasies out loud now. Abby, you... 50 bits says. I saw Anne Hathaway in the airport once. I hope she wasn't holding a breast cup. In the security <laughs> checkout line, it was amazing. No one knew her because she was dressed in black with black sunglasses. And he says, not joking. I that's don't know. That's literally how she dresses in every movie. Yeah, she's that's just her. I was, <laughs> I was actually like, I got my dick sucked until I was 23. And then I, there, I remember there was this hot. So say that again. What? Yeah, I, I technically was a virgin, quote unquote, until I was twenty three. But uh, what does "quote unquote" mean? What does that mean? 
Because I got my, <laughs> I got my, because I got my dick sucked all the yeah, time. Yeah, virgin though. What does it mean? You tripped and fell in a hole? Like what do you? I didn't, I didn't stick my dick in the, as he says, the pisser. But I've, you know, so I remember though. I there was this. I met her at my <laughs> job. It was this blonde goth chick who had tattoos all over her titties, and man, she was fantastic. Oh, anyway, God, I don't I love know. her. Yeah, I want. She she was weird though, but guy, I, she wanted to like date me, and I wouldn't because she was too weird. But I just kept hanging out with her because I wanted her to smack the shit of me with her tits every day. And then what happened? She smacked the shit of me with her tits. Then one time we were <laughs> fucking, and then she just blurted out that she loved me, and I went completely flaccid and ran out of the room. Every time. Are you girl serious? Ever. No, not really. I kept going and busting it up. I but knew it. it. The secret course. is out. <laughs> but she was like, because oh, I was like, look, we're just going to be friends with benefits. Okay, we're just going to be friends with benefits. I just want to let you know because I didn't want to fuck around with her, like, metaphorically. And she's like, all right, cool. Then, like, a day later, we're fucking. And she was like, oh, I love you. And I'm like, w what? Every girl. Dude, uh, so my, my ex-wife left when I was 26. And... I, I downloaded Tinder and I had no idea how to date because I had been with her since I was a teenager. I had no oh, idea God. how to date, nothing. But I was in great shape, the best shape of my life. And, you know, I owned a small little house up where I live. And uh, I just started talking to girls like they were human because I don't know how to, I don't know how to like fake a thing. I just, I just do myself. So I'm just talking to all these girls and I was, I got to where I was hanging out with a different girl every single day, man. And this was going on for like, like a year or two. Um, before I deleted the app because it got too stressful. It, when I started YouTube, I deleted everything because I wanted to focus on YouTube. But um, I was hanging out with all these girls, and they, I would always tell them, like, disclaimer. I got so used to it that I'd be like, hey, uh, like, I'm not interested in being with you in any capacity. I'm just trying to be, you know, meet people, be friends. And, you know, that pretty much insinuates what you want, right? So and I was hanging out with all these girls. And empty girls. my balls. And, yeah, exactly. And they would almost always be like after i stopped talking to him after a week or two or three you know depending on how long i wanted to be around them they would immediately jump to the oh i thought this was different i thought you know things would change and this i you don't know, get it yeah and i'm like you bitch look, how how has this happened every single time I, I told you bitches i ain't want nothing all right i'm just trying to bust a nut you know trying to bump uglies a little and that's all i wanted to do man and, and you tell, yeah, it's not like you're fucking with their heads. You tell them, like, look, I am just here to empty my balls. Yeah. Listen, smash my pisser in the top bunk. <laughs> yeah. And I'll, and I'll fart in your face. So, and they and it's like, wait, but I thought this was more. I'm like, I told you it's not more. I flat out told you. Like, do I but, need uh, you to sign a fuck, fucking contract? Well, they see, Rich, they thought they could change you because they think that they're special. But having a... Wine and Netflix as your interest just makes you another white girl. Like, I don't understand why girls like, man, I got so much to offer. And I'm like, what do you got to offer? And they're like, shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. I, I'm on a the, girl, on... I guess. It's like, oh, thanks. You know how many of those there are? Oh, on the dating app, it's like a guy. They have like 8,000. God, I'm going to sound like fucking. No, no, no. I know where you're going with this. I have but 5, it's true. I have 5,000 children. I have. <laughs> and, and it's like 10,000 fucking requirements. Yeah. It's like, and it's, it's like, unreal. <laughs> It's, unreal. it's like, no, thank you. I'll jerk off instead. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I'll be back. Go, go, I got to piss. That's how brutal it is. Uh, you go on a dating app. Fucking I'm a fleshlight. You, you don't have to but... talk to it afterwards. But yeah, you go on there. They're like, I have five children. They mean the world to me. I need yep. this, this, and this. You better not do this. You better be this way. It's like, you're. Not... who do you think oh you're Oh, my God, get? dude. Every single time it's like, I'm 32. I know my worth. I don't hook up with anybody anymore because I've already been ran through, bro. It's like, oh, thanks for punishing me, girl. I also have two kids. And it's like, they're my world. I also, like, have no interest. And you better have a six-figure salary, a nice car, own your own house, have abs, and be six foot two. And I'm like, that ain't going to happen, girl. You have to settle. You have to settle for a big old butter golem because you ain't getting my ass. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what uh, fantasy they're living in there, but it's... No, nah, you know, they, they they do this thing where they 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 fuck around for their twenties and then they find out in their thirties. Uh, Punk Jack donated a hundred bits. He says one time I caught feelings and I had to cut it off. She was smoking redhead. I lost my virginity to a redhead, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Same. But she, uh, why? Why is that a thing? So she was kick ass, man. Dude. So she, here's my here's my uh, story of how I lost my virginity. I'll tell it super quick. I was known as the priest because I watched too much Dawson's Creek and I actually wanted to be in love or at least know the woman I was going to do that with for the first time. Then 
it got out of hand and I was like 25 and they were like, okay, your nickname's priest. We're going to go to the mall. You're going to find a girl. You're going to lose your virginity to her. I'm like, okay. Like literally they knocked, <laughs> they knocked on my door and were like, let's go. That's like so, some 40 year old version shit. No, this is like a movie. I swear this is all hundred percent true. I'm not making any of this up. So I said, sure. Got in the car with them. We went to the mall. I, I thought it was more of like, let's just go hang out. They were dead serious. They're like, you're going to pick a girl out. You're going to fucking go up to her and you're going to ask her out. You're going to go on a date with her. Merry Christmas. Listen. This thing keeps fucking. Come on, guys. Off. We know there's nothing faster than an Ultima driver late for this parole meeting. And their cars are always just dented up on every corner to you. Every so time they pass you. Nissans are so. Oh, I'm sorry. Finish. That's no, okay. I was going to say, butthole. Thanks for the two dollar donation and butthole. Thank, uh, thank you, Punk, for the hundred bits. By the way, uh, you've inspired me to tell this story. So basically, long story short, we go to the mall. I, I literally pick out the most attractive girl I've ever seen in my life. I can back this up with photos to you guys later. And she's like a a goddess from from God. Like, I, there's no other way to explain this girl. She's a redhead. She looks like a young Scarlett Johansson meets Holy shit. meets meets Megan Fox put together. Like, she's it's unfathomable that I'd even get to talk to her. So they're like, "Are you fucking kidding? Like, there's no sh what do you like? Seriously, go pick someone around your. You know, you're like a six, seven out of ten, and you're trying to go for a fucking hundred out of ten. Get real. Did you like, um? Did you put a, a DVD on your penis and that really impressed her? <laughs> Yeah, I walked right into the store with no. I actually it was a bike, like a tricycle. I put it right on there. I walked in, and um, <laughs> no, this is what actually happened. I walked into the store and I thought, I have nothing to lose in life. Punk and Jack will answer you in a second. Yeah, I have okay. nothing. To, I have nothing to lose in life. It's like, just I'm going for it. So I go right up to her. I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. My name is Jay. She's like, hey, nice to meet you. And she's like, sort of a bit standoffish. And I'm like. I'm, I'm, I just told her the truth. I'm like, I'd love to get to know you. I've been, uh, you know, I work in the mall as well. I've walked by, I've seen you a few times. I'd love to get to know you. I'll walk you home, whatever you'd like, whatever you're comfortable with. And she was like, really? And I'm like, yeah, like what time are you off? I'll walk you to the bus or whatever you need. And maybe I could take you out sometime. She's like, that would be amazing. And I'm like, okay, what time? She's like six. So I go out there and the guys are like, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And I'm like, yeah, well, it's nothing's happening. It's fine. And they're like, well, what, what, what did she say? And I'm like, um, oh, I'm walking her home. And they were like, what? And I'm like, I'm walking her home. They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, I just, they're like, that's like 1960 playbook. And I'm like, well, it worked. So I came back to the mall, all dressed up, brought flowers. Cause I'm like, I'm going for this. I'm really going for this. Brought flowers. I'm too stoned for this shit, but continue. I walked into the store. Everybody in the store that worked there was like, holy fuck, what's going on here? Because what I had found out was from her that girls that are this attractive in real life, they only get hit on by men who are like just absolutely fucking insane. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Merry Christmas. Blame yourself. Blame your fucking self. I Somebody just donated $100. Rich holy Jay, shit. Happy holidays. Damn. I hope you and your families have the best holiday ever. Dude, the thank Bland, you very much, man. The Blands donates $100. Blads, to thank you. Blads. And there was one time, I, let's answer this other one because I want to appreciate everybody. And I, I one time I caught feelings and had to cut it off. She was smoking hot redhead, but she didn't reciprocate, so I didn't keep going. I mean, yeah, it could happen, but usually it's women. Like you tell them up front, look, this is just friends with benefits. I just need to bust a nut. Like you're flat, you're not being mean. You're telling them before anything happens, and they're like, "Yeah, sure, that's fine." And oh. then as you're as you're doing your thing, oh, I love you. What? Listen, no. I have a secret. I have a secret to announce to everybody that's you know eighteen to twenty five right now, dating right now. The secret is, and I swear to God, this works. When you start dating women, never bring up sex. Ever. Like, never ever. bring it up. The secret is this. Never bring it up. Ever. Ever. Don't even make a peep about it. Go on the date. You can say they're attractive. You're into them and that stuff. But don't bring up anything like, oh, you turned me on or you're sexy or anything. Just keep it baseline stuff. And I swear to God, every single girl that you do that with, no matter what, will basically be begging it for it and, to happen. Uh, and just treat them like a human. Don't be weird. Yeah, yeah that's uh, the other thing. Just treat them like you would treat your dude friends, and they'll be like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I'll suck them off." 
Yeah, yeah, my, and, yeah uh, mine is like, don't scratch your balls and fart around them. Until, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, I do, I'm, no, I'm, dude, I do that shit. I don't give a fuck. So, no, I, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I do, too. Very true. Very true. I'm not saying that you go out there to use this as a move to get in bed with a girl. I'm just saying be yourself. Don't bring up the sex. And that naturally, if they're actually attracted to you, and it's meant to be, it'll just happen. Like, you'll, yes. you'll have to beat them off with a stick because... He said like, beat them off. No, nah, yeah. dude. Dude, no, no joke, no joke. I had this girl. Women she, are women get horny too. That's the. Th oh there yeah, go. do they want to get smashed, man? So yeah. um, Listen, I had this girl one pistol. time. She moved. She got a modeling job at some agency in Atlanta, and she moved from S S SoCal and to like the city I live in. And um, this girl was un undamn believable. She's twenty one. I was twenty nine. <laughs> she was. Just looked unbelievable. So I matched with this girl, of course. And uh dude, she comes over to my house. And I don't dude at this point, I've been I've been doing this for like years, like two years at this point. This is like one of my last girls I really, you know, hooked up with. Um and I just didn't give a shit. I was like, you can come over if you want, we can drink tequila, I don't give a fuck. And then she shows up and I just like bust ass and I don't care. And she's like, This guy I'll never forget it, dude. I, I busted ass so hard. And she was like with her goofy ass valley girl accent. She was like, uh, did you really just do that? And I'm like, yep. And I had sex with her like 10 minutes later. <laughs> she was, dude, she was like, man, that is an alpha male fart. Yeah. She got, she's like, my God, I'm so, t dude, some people love fart play. Maybe she had like a fart play fetish and she's like, oh man, let's do this. Yeah. She I just want to say thank right. you to Blads again, man. That was ridiculous. Thank you. I appreciate everybody, man. There's a lot of well, support Well, yeah, I mean, here. I it's appreciate awesome. everybody. I but appreciate I especially Blads. So let me no. finish the story. So, so yeah, especially Vlad. So uh, I basically date this girl for two weeks. Um, I think we had like four or five dates. Oh, for fuck's sake. You did it. You did it. <laughs> I lost my virginity in my sophomore year. I lost not... my virginity in sophomore year. She could not shut up. Also, <laughs> she could not stop using her teeth giving a blowjob. Oh, Let's I like that. I like daddy it. issues. Oh no! You got Thank you, scraped. Ben Hammer. You got Dude, scraped. That I don't mind the scraping. Bring it what? on! Bite me. Um, what on your dick? I love when a girl bites it. What? Dude, I used You're to be joking. goth. You're joking. Yeah. You're joking. Run a knife across my leg and blow me. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that's it. We're banned. <laughs> Run it. What the <laughs> fuck? Listen. We're not He's banned. Like... So let me finish this story. So. She comes over one day, and it's like the first time she's in my house. Um, and I, I tell her the story. I actually tell her the story. I'm like, can I tell you something? And, I, you know, obviously I really do like you now, and it's I'm just telling you to be open with you why I was at the mall that day and what happened. But, uh, you know, obviously the last two weeks I've really enjoyed our time together, blah, blah, blah. And I go, well, I, I was, I'm a virgin, and, you know, we went to the mall as a joke, and they were. It was sort of a bet that I could sleep with the girl or not. She was like, "Sorry, what?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it was like." It's like a movie. Yeah, it was like it's sort of like a joke, and she's like, "Sorry, sorry, you only approach me to sleep with me," and I'm like, "Yeah, um, yeah." Initially, it was like up until I talked to you, that was like, you know, I. She's like, "So did you just randomly pick me?" Oh, for fuck's sake! This is a Judd Apatow movie. What this is. So you found out my true identity. I also like when a girl bites on my strudel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everybody Dude, I is love lying. It. They're Dude, lying. It, no, I swear to God, when they deep throat and bite, oh You're oh, fucking no. Dude, yeah, that I no, no one Bring can, it on. You know, you know, it's because I'm circumcised. I went through so that So am I. Well then I someone should bite it. Oh I God. want no one to bite my penis. Listen, well, I got listen. I got a horror story. I got a no, horror story. I'm not story. done. I'm not done. So she goes, or you're never going to be done. <laughs> well, if you bite it, I'll get there quicker. So then at the end, she goes, um, she's like, are you dead serious? And I go, yeah, I'm, I'm dead serious. That's why I did all. So all of a sudden she goes, well, that's over with. And she literally took my pants off. And that was the end of that. Well, oh, wait, you, oh, wait, you it. had sex. Yeah, she was. She was playing it up. She was pretending that she was pissed that, you know, it was like a conquest thing and she was like well i'm taking your virginity oh I dude uh man uh, i hooked up with this girl a couple times for a while actually Th and she told me that was her favorite thing is to like if a dude told her like th if they were like a kind of a frail little like bitchly bitch the guy <laughs> she loved taking their virginity for some reason well like, she met like a dude in her his 20s that's like you know goofy little like 
effeminate dude. She just loved wrecking wrecking them for Weird. some reason. So she likes quartering fans then. Yes, <laughs> but the the issue is like she didn't want to be with them in, in any capacity. She just like having sex with them <laughs> and like l- like tearing l- them up. Listen, bite my pisser. Listen, so what, dude? This story is is bad. So oh there was no, this girl. Guys, we're so getting one, banned. We're getting banned. No, nah, there's one time. Uh, this one time we like hooked up, or, uh, and it was all right. So like, it wait was, a like, minute. Six wait, months wait. later, can you no, elaborate? But, so you met a. So what? Set it up nicely. I want to know. Was there candle lights? Was there champagne? What What are we doing here? No, there was her bed, and there was my erect cock. Was anyway, there a bunk bed, top or bottom? You were on the top one farting while I was having sex. Okay, so, good. Did you have cellophane on your chest? So, like, yes, I had cellophane on my chest as well. All right, I've never come down here again. Don't, good, listen. Shit in my bathroom. So, she, like, whatever. We, we like, it was just a hookup thing. Six months go by, and she's like, hey, want to hang out again? But she moved to a different place. So, I went there, and she's like, oh, God, please fuck me. Yo, though, she took down her pants, and it smelled like a corpse oh. died in her <sighs> vagina. Why? I literally had, I, like, walked out quick. I've never to this day smelt a smell like that. What did I you was, do? I My dick didn't work for, like, a week after. I was so horrified. Yeah, I've had that happen once, ever. Dude, it's bad, and it's like, what, like... You don't like you have me come over. You didn't wash that shit first. It was like an alien smell. It's like that. I've never, <laughs> never before and never after. It's been years. It was Wait, like it, you left it, her hanging. Like she just you w- left the house. Yes. I'm um, not fu- you think I'm sticking my dick in there, dude? When I was uh, 17, we were doing this huge play on stage and everything, and the girls' locker room smelled like that. Uh-huh. It was so bad that somebody threw a bottle of like Calvin Klein cologne on the floor. It's just to smash it, so we didn't oh, have to no. smell it. Yeah, oh, it was no. that bad. Oh, my God. So it's then like, it's like Axe body spray effect. Yeah, but it was horrible because it mixed together with the 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 smell, and it was just this weird like. I when I think about it, I actually want to throw up. It's I'm gonna yeah forget it's like it. When, Some, it's like. It's like when you go to a, a, a convention, just saying, because I've been to a couple, like there's dudes there that smell like taint and Axe body spray. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, but let's just be fair. Men also, I've heard from girls like saying like, hey, you know, men smell too. And I'm like, well, not me because I shower. Yeah, I uh, I use wet wipes like every time I shit. So, yeah, I use it. I, I well, wipe I, my whole and I wipe my whole thoroughly. I'm going to picture that. Uh, Curie donated 100 bits and says, I had a girl once that wanted me to eat her thing with spicy sauce in my mouth. What the she fuck? said she liked the pain the sauce gave her. Yeah, okay. What Can the I... fuck is wrong with people? Okay, I'm going to add a part to the story of this girl that I found at the mall and I dated for a year. Uh, her fetish, guys, just so you know, uh, her fetish was, uh, I can't say it on here, It it starts with an R. Uh, I know what yep. you're. That's all I yep. gotta say. Stop. I know yep. exactly what you're talking. And about. Uh, she wanted me to pretend that happened, and I was the person. Never. To, and I said, uh, "No, thank you." It's only it's only a fetish if the, the because they're per, they're picturing the guy um, uh, that's doing that um, that's breaking in as uh, extremely attractive, and it's not going to be that guy. No, <laughs> it's going to be <clears throat> Wings of Redemption's ass coming through your window. <laughs> 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 he's not coming through the window. He's like Kool Aid guys coming through the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Nipples first. You'll see like his breasts come through first. He's like, oh, ba- oh my god. Do you know who Justin Silverman is, Rich? Yeah. Yeah. He has giant breasts as well. So one time I'm in a panel about um, about like trolling online, and fucking Justin Silverman comes into the room. And I, I scream into the microphone, oh, yeah. And everyone looks at the back of the room. I'm like, ladies and gentlemen, the Kool-Aid man. And it's just Justin Silverman standing <laughs> at the back of the room. He must have hated you for that. <laughs> oh, no, he loved it. He came up to me, and he was like, that was pretty good, man. That was pretty good. That okay, was, I could see that, too. That's kind of what happened uh, first time I ever uh, met Boogie. I was doing a panel, and Boogie just walked in, and he was just double fist and pizza, man. He was killing that shit. And he just walked in and like I was just doing my panel. I just see him walk in. <laughs> just like in the very back of the room. Here comes Boogie. That's all I ever picture now. It's just him double fist and pizza. Uh Silverman. Oh, Justin Silverman, somebody said some he's cool. Yeah, he's cool. I will admit now, like in the beginning, I hated him. I hated him so much. He's got the thing about him is like because of how he is as a person, his comedy 
it's very hard to understand yeah. if he's joking or not. So he does it on purpose because I think uh, he was bullied or something when he was young. I don't know what it is, but in the beginning, I wanted to murder him. I hated his guts. Merry his Christmas. Humor is, like, yeah, he, him and I basically like say like, hey, you're a piece of shit. How you doing? Hey, Rich, go fuck yourself. Can you like, image that's... Wings of Redemption busting into your room at night yelling, look here, look, listen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, Look I, I listen. I actually masturbate. To, I actually masturbate to that thought every day. Look here. Look, listen. Every, like nipples first. Like I, his breasts come through my drywall first. Then he just smacks the shit at me with him. Okay, Man, here. Qu question, I gotta stop. I'm stopping right now. Question, okay. question for the panel right now. Craziest sexual experience. Do we have anything off the top? I got one right now. Of so. course you do. You smash someone's pisser. And I've had, dude, I, now, I'm going to be honest, I could give you a dozen, but I'll just tell you how I lost my virginity because it's about, that's, that's a perfect one. Okay. I met this girl on MySpace because I was, oh, God, I was 16. So this is 1992. Yeah. And, uh, I was, <laughs> I, I just, dude, I, I was one of the, dude, I was just adding random girls that looked attractive because, you know, I was, 16. <laughs> dude, I did that too. Yeah. I dude, did that too. And you know what's funny? That. I did that on when Facebook started and I ended up dating a girl I did that too for like a good six months. Yep, my, that, no, that's, how I met my, that's how dude, I met my ex-wife, actually. Uh, so, um, holy shit, you can't do really? that anymore. You can't no, do it on Facebook anymore. Because yeah. I used to just find girls, oh, I sound like a creep, but I find girls <laughs> close to where I lived. And I just randomly message them and go, hey, Jessica told me to message you. She'd be like, who? And I'd just start talking to them. Here's a picture of my dick, and that's all you gotta do. No, so, um, no, so no I meet this girl, don't do that. Um, <laughs> I meet this girl on MySpace, and um, like I, she's 16 and I'm 16. And uh, I like messenger back and forth, you know, in between my wow raids and shit. And I'm like a fat little kid, too, by the way. And I message her and whatnot. And we talk back and forth, back and forth. And then one day, I give her my phone number, obviously, because, you know, phone numbers. And uh, back when people talked on the phone. And so she calls me up one day. I'm just driving around Walmart. You know how, I don't know if you guys did it, but, you know, I lived in a place called Gaston, Alabama. You basically, for entertainment, you went to Walmart yeah, at 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. she she calls me one day on my goofy little Nokia snake phone, and she's like, "Hey, you should come to my house." And I was like, "Oh my god, that is such a great idea!" Now keep in mind she lived like an hour away in like Georgia, on the line. So I drive my happy ass there, and, <laughs> and I'd park behind this random ass trailer on this random ass rural road. Keep in mind it was like banjos and shit. So oh I'm just, God. I get out of my car and she tells me to walk down the road, you know, and at this point in time in my life, I would do anything to have sex. So, um, at I'm, that age, yeah, yeah you put yeah, in dude. a lot more work. So, so I'm walking dude, did down the you, road. Did you have any, um, like fear that you're being led to like some 60 year old man's house? No, dude, not at all. I had, dude, I would have never even thought of that. <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm about to meet a girl. So she's, I, I'm walking down the road and then she's walking down the road at the opposite direction. And then we just like meet in the middle of this road. And I, you know, actually met her. And of course, you know, at the time now looking back by, if, if I was able to find her pictures, she was probably very average, but at the time she was the hottest girl I've ever met in my life. And, um, so she's like, let's go back to my house. And I'm like, all right, that sounds great to me. So I'm wa I walk back to her house. Now keep in mind, I'm not quite sure at this point why I parked behind a random trailer a mile down the road, but it's fine. So I get up to her house and then she climbs in her bedroom window and I climb in after it's fine. Oh, and, man. uh, turns oh, out, by the way, I was let, I, I was let know. Uh, she let me know later that, uh, if her father had caught me in the house, he would have shot me, but it's fine. Um, so I'm sitting there and she turns on a movie and she's like kissing all over my neck and shit. And I'm just like, well, I, I can't believe this. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Yeah. So, um, she's kissing on my neck and shit. And she turns on labyrinth, which is a great movie. David Bowie's crotch. And, all of a sudden, now I don't know if you guys have dance, ever baby, experienced. Dance. I don't know if you've ever experienced this, this, but all of a sudden I started getting bubble guts. I guess because I was nervous, and yeah. for the first time ever, I got to breaking out in sweat shits where I could not hold it. So I planted oh, my ass no. firmly I know on the those. floor, dude. I, I was like sitting square on the floor, and my ass just perfectly lined up with the floor, and I was having contractions and shit every like couple minutes. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and then it would go away. And from my previous experiment or my previous ex experience, it would just go away eventually. It got worse and worse until I until it got to the breaking point. So I tell this girl, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta leave. You know, well first I asked her if I could use her bathroom, and she's like, dude, my dad's sitting right out there, he'll kill you. And I was like, what? <laughs> so that was you know very nervous and stressful. So I was like, well, I have to leave, dude. And she's like, oh okay. And I just literally go to the window and fall out of the window and start running, just sprinting. 
just to get out, right? And I yeah. get to the end of her driveway, and it's over. And I just rip my pants down and start projectile shitting everywhere. <laughs> and I'm not, dude. It was like ah. it was explosive. Ooh. And I remember being out of breath and sweaty after shitting. And I was like, well, shit. So I had to take my socks off and wipe, obviously. And I was like, well, this is over. I ruined this. So I walked back to my car, <laughs> and I drive to Walmart and shit again because it's just crazy. I get some wet wipes and whatnot. And this girl was like, you should come back. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, uh, the only light from her house was shining from her window on my ass as I was shitting. Um, <laughs> but apparently she was, <laughs> she, was, she, was, she was as desperate as I was. She tells me to come back. So I come back for some weird ass reason. Because you're horny. Like, yeah, and I sit. But on what her... about your ass? Isn't it yeah. covered in like? At... Why I we use wet wipes, man? Oh, uh, and it's used as socks too. Yeah, I Jeez. use my socks and wet wipes, and then I bought new socks at Walmart. So I came back and I laid on her bed, and she just I, keep in mind I had zero experience because I was a fat kid growing up. So I was basically, oh, you're like a brother to me. Uh, the girls never locked me in. I was basically a kissless virgin at that point. And she just uh, t- takes my drawers down and just sits on sits on my junk and just goes ham on me. And that's how I lost my virginity. Even after I shit in her driveway and she saw me. So it's fine. Maybe she's, that was probably a turn on to her. She's like, man, that's some explosive shit coming out Dude, of Dude, I can't. I, I can't even. I, I wish I could, like, kind of. I kind of wish I could relive it because it was easily the most satisfying shit of my life. <laughs> man, I was going to say a story, but it can't beat that. Yeah, but, now. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. Now we got nothing. No. Yeah, I was going to say. I watched the girls. I watched the girls squirt like forty times. The end. I got a in a just a grocery store parking lot. This like fifty-five year old Hispanic woman with amazing tits gave me the best blowjob of my life. Where? Where? In the parking lot? Yeah, in the parking lot. She How just did, that, she pulled daytime the seat, or night? Night. She pulled down in, a, in my pants, and that was she just went to town. Was this a hooker? No, it was someone I met. It was like someone I met in a dating app. Yeah, she was. She one was for older. Me, one for my hooker. Wait a and... minute, has that happened a lot to you guys? Like you go on a dating app, and you go on a date, and then all of a sudden the girl's just like, oh, "I'm gonna suck your dick." Oh, dude! Oh my god! All the uh, time. Yeah. Every time. Say, okay. Keep in mind, I got. I'll give you like a uh, kind of context. So, for, uh, in 2017, 2018, and a little bit of 2019, I was on Tinder and Bumble. And when I deleted fucking, Tinder, I had like 900 matches. Bumble. And I hooked up with, I, I would have a girl over every other day, every other three days and stuff, because I was working still, you know, full time at, you know, GameStop or moved to Walmart. And I was hanging out with these girls, and I would literally, dude, I never made a move. <sighs> I, I, it was just, it was how it worked for me. I would sit there and I'd be like, what's up, girl? And I'd hug them, and we'd go upstairs in my game room. I'd sit on the couch, I'd turn on like Interstellar or whatever movie I'd always turn on, and I'd start drinking shots of tequila. Because that's what I always did. And I shit you not, 98% of the time, the girl would start kissing on my neck and then just start sucking my dick. Every, I never made a move. And this one time, this one time, I didn't make a move for four hangouts with this girl. And I didn't care because I was hooking up with girls every day. So I didn't care if we didn't have sex. So, but the fourth time we hung out, and she was uh, like a, a bodybuilder chick, but like without the steroids, she was just, she looked awesome. Um, and she leaves my house and she texts me and she's like, are we not going to have sex? And I was like, uh, you're married. You told me that we were just going to be friends. And she's like, uh, well we can have sex. And I was like, okay. Friends, and then she just friends that fuck. Yeah. And she just came back and I just smashed a pisser and it was awesome. God, that girl, mm, she was crazy. Cause you know, when you lift a lot, you have an increased testosterone as a woman. And that shit was dripping. It's like a faucet. <sighs> God, man, you're weak. I'm man, just thinking about it right now. Dude. You need to do audio books on your sexual experiences, oh, man. I think you're, you're you're missing your calling. It was so good. You'll have people dr- driving in their car listening to like Amazon audio books of Camelot talking about himself fucking. Dude, I have like 20 Tinder stories videos, and they've always performed pretty well. Oh, yeah, because people love to hear about that. Yeah, but kidding? then they're like, hey, give us some more Tinder stories. And I'm like, bruh, that, I can only give you so many. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, I get that, too. It's, I started uh, getting running out. I, I got to the ones that are like weird, like that girl that passed out that one time. Like, I just, One girl had a seizure one time. You know, well, when you, wait, what? While yeah, dude, when you go around the block enough, you see everything. Now, I was, so I was, while you were doing it with her, she had a seizure? Yeah, I was hanging out with this oh girl. My God. She was like 80 pounds, 4 foot 11. Tiny little girl, just adorable little girl. And but she was dude, she knew how to wrangle. She knew how to wrangle the dick. So she, you know, we hang out and she's she smashing my pisser. It's a great ass time. So she comes over one time, you know, and she's like, you know, I've been smoking and stuff. I'm like, ah, right, cool, whatever. And you know, we go to my room, obviously, because she's always like, let's go, let's go hang out in your room. I'm like, because you know how it is. 
So I'm just doggy styling this chick, just 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 hitting it as hard as I can. And all of a sudden, like she's you know putting, she has the resistance. She's pushing back on me. She just falls and goes limp, and I just jump off of her. And I'm like, oh my god! And I start like waving, holy like, shit, my hand in front of her face to wake her up. And she like wakes up, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm I'm just really dehydrated. And I'm like, what? And she's like, you can you can keep going. And I'm like, no, <laughs> like no! no, you need to go to the hospital. Like no, yeah. you don't. But it was it was pretty wild. I just she just like drank some water and like ate something, and then I she just like laid and cuddled me and i just let her go to sleep i was like no nah, we're not doing this. yeah jesus christ we'll end the stream with this story and i'm gonna switch over to youtube Hell this yeah. is a this is a story that some of you may have heard but some of you did i remember i was in college and there was this other for some reason goth chicks always wanted to sit on my face that luckily this one didn't but she was good looking yep and we did theater class together and we went Listen, out to dinner. Dr dramatically sit on my face. Okay, keep going. Listen, I'm going to fart in your face. So we go back to my place, and she takes off her, her shirt and nice, wonderful titties. And she's like... And two, she's or, about two, to two or three nipples. Uh, she had 12 nipples, actually. Okay, and good. She, and, and they were all lactating. No, And then... So whatever, we're making out or whatever. And then she was like, all right. So she ta starts taking out her pants. She doesn't want to let you know I have my period. I'm like... What? That's like, fine. I just met you. She's like, and I don't have condoms. She's like, that's fine. I'm like, hell yeah. No, I I like to not have AIDS. Thank Dude, you, Dude. I, I I raw dog like over probably a thousand times in ten. <laughs> well, well, dude, you're a braver man than me. I'm like, no, nah. like you have like. It's a double whammy. Like it's not like oh, it's just normal. Like you have your period and you want me to raw dog you. Not Dude, a just chance do it. in hell. Do it. Well, you should have told twenty year old me this. Everybody Probably in the chat. Just do it. Don't listen to Rich. Just do it. No, <laughs> do not listen to this man. Great <laughs> advice. Great advice, guys. Definitely but it, use it's a still, condom. It's still. It, it, then she then she just like she put on her clothes with her nerves, and she like stomped up the steps, and it was like some melodramatic shit. Like she opened the door. And then look back like a 60s movie. And she just looks and she sounds like fucking possessed. She goes, no, I have to go home and masturbate. <laughs> and just slams the door and walks off. And I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Like, even if she didn't have her period, I probably just literally and metaphorically dodged a bullet. Yeah, dude. Dude, she like went fucking demon on me. She was enraged that I would not go in her bloody hole. Oh my god, dude! You know what? Like, I'm gonna be honest, dude. I've been, I, I, I just, I don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> now, dude, back in the day, I, dude, I didn't care. They'd be like, "Hey, I'm married." I'd be like, "That's great." They'd be like, "Hey, I have a boyfriend." But like, that's great. I don't care. They'd be like, "Hey, I'm on a period." I'm like, "That's great." They'd be like, "Hey, I'm not on birth control." And I'm like, "That's fine." <laughs> I mean, if I'm is there like anything a, that you would stop at? Like, what if they were like, "Hey, I killed five guys before coming here." Uh, I mean, as long as they're not gonna kill me, dude, I'm, I can hold them bitches down. I don't give a fuck. Oh wait. Uh, but do you have big boobs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you whoa! You murdered him. But do you have big boobs? <laughs> no, it's fine. Are, I don't give a damn. No, that's that's how. Hey, that's, I got a question. Like, how many women were on the dating staff that were like, "Hey, I'm married, and I'm stepping outside of that." How, oh, I don't. Rem I couldn't really give you a good percentage of how many that were married, but I can give you a good percentage of how many that were in a relationship, and it was about how, probably about seventy percent. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, and, dude, that happened to me on Tinder too. And God, she was—I had nothing ever ha Like she sent me a whole bunch of titty pictures unsolicited, and it was she was married and she wanted to just. And I'm like, oh God, you have great breasts. She was actually pretty hot too, but I don't want my dick shot off. But then I don't know what happened. She's like, yeah, me and my husband are getting back together, so yeah. no hole, no hole for yeah, you. Yeah, but that was yeah. bullshit the whole time. I bet, I bet she yeah. was never had an issue with. No, her I know she or no, she did. Or, or if she was just looking to either cheat or maybe they had a fight and it was like, oh, yeah, look what I'm going to do kind of shit. Yeah, I know. The Tinder but, girls well, dude, I hung out with, they, they didn't date. They, they're like they would just they weren't having fights with their husband. They would just come over while their husband was at work. And there it was uh, probably about 10 girls that were married. And then, oh, God, 30 or 40 that were in a relationship. That's crazy. I, had I, so look, I was a bad up. person. I was really jaded. My wife had left me and I didn't give a fuck. I didn't care about nothing, dude. Yeah, why? Do you know what though? You know why I don't hold you accountable for that? Because it's not like you know they wanted it. They had you. They had they want. They had the hole. They wanted your dick in there. So hey, you know, man, he, this this one girl was so easily the most attractive girl probably on earth, uh, in my opinion. 
and she was married and uh she just she just hit me up and we started hanging out of course smash pisser of course of course <laughs> and uh you know she's married so you know eventually you know eventually she's like bro i'm not on birth control and i'm like that's fine and then she's also like bro just just fill me up like a like a oatmeal cream pie and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then her and her husband no. have a, have another child, and uh, uh, he, they, her, him, and her haven't had sex in like six months. So, so you're you just basically you're admitting that you have a child out there. Oh, everybody knows this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Well, Merry Christmas, Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> what? Hold on. Hold. That happened to me in university. My friends with benefits wanted to fuck while on her period once. Turns out she was a childhood friend's cousin. She had big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> she had big boobs. I mean, look, if I'm in like a long, long-term relationship, Thank you, Town like, Lord, I'll, by the way. I'll, I'll go into a red hole. You know what I'm saying? But like, oh, not Jesus on a, Christ. not on a first. Like, yeah, like if it's like my long-term significant other, man, who cares? So that's but, one way to end the stream. Uh, yeah, that's, it's a great family-friendly way to yeah, end the stream. He's just like, uh, I have a child out there. Let's go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fucking cliffhanger. All right, he's Cody. five years old. So wait Co a minute, are you being you're being dead serious here? You are you being dead serious right now? I thought I still was yeah. on the. Imp Do you? So wait a minute, you have a child with the woman for sure. Yes, I, I had I had to take a paternity test, and it was ninety nine point eight percent. And and what happened to the husband? He was just like, ah, oh, this is fine. He's just like okay. Um, I don't know if he thinks it's. Her. I don't know, man. He's like he's like a Indian guy, and uh, I'm and the 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 child uh, is a girl, and she is extremely pale and has blonde like bleach blonde hair, like I did when I was a child. And the mom also has like black hair and brown eyes. <laughs> oh God, that must have been. There was probably our eyebrows raised in the delivery room, man. Yeah. Oh, so oh shit. That being said, funny yes, th yeah, Alfina, yes, better stories than modern life, baby. I'm sorry. Continue. Funny thing is, uh, <laughs> I was, I was, I was actually going to mention this. Several of the husbands and boyfriends would message me in what? like message requests on Facebook, and they were always really super cordial and be like, they'd be like, "Hey, uh, I appreciate you being there for like so and so, but can you stop hanging out with her?" None of them were ever mad, and that's probably why they're getting cheated on. I'm gonna be honest. Somebody in the so, chat says, said, uh, you are the father. <laughs> Jesus, that's some Jerry Spring. So, like, do you correspond with the child? Do you have any kind of... No. Um, I get pictures every once in a while from an undisclosed email, like, every couple months. Wow. But do you want to pursue that more? I don't know why this is turning into fucking Oprah. Yeah. But like, I mean, I I, I, yeah, I, I, probably about eight months ago, I emailed... And I was like, "Hey, uh, I'm interested in being a part of this." Uh, yeah, they they're not they're not about that life. Oh, well, you got kicked <laughs> out of that. Yeah. Wow, dude, I would lose my mind. I, I would lose my mind if I couldn't be around my kids. Holy yeah, shit. it's. I guess it's different because I I don't really I don't really know if it's different or not. But I've you know I've never been involved even like for a second. So like it's you were like a sperm donor basically. Yeah. You know. Wow. It, Except instead of them going with a tube, you stuck your cock in her. Yep. All right. All right. What? This was a family friendly stream, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, Camelot, man. I know you got other shit going on. Thank you so much for coming through. Uh, Jay, support my family. I'll tell you what we're editing next after the stream. Edit my ass. Um, and now, guys, I'll see you over on YouTube where we can do things like laugh at Phil. Have a good night, everybody. Love you, bitches. Listen, yeah. smash all the pissers, guys. Smash!